Starting with DXperience 2010.2, the WPF Project Wizard also supports creating WPF applications for Visual Basic.net. You can start developing WPF applications quicker by using a new project wizard as part of the DevExpress project templates installed in Visual Studio 2010. This wizard walks you through the initial configuration of your application with settings such as themes and placement of controls, saving you time on basic and redundant configuration tasks. In this video, we'll take a quick look at the functionality of the project wizard and create a new WPF application without writing a single line of code. So let's get started. Starting with a new instance of Visual Studio 2010, I click on the New Project link. The WPF Project Wizard application template for Visual C Sharp was introduced with the 2010.1 release of DXperience. In the 2010.2 version, a VB.NET version is also included. I select Visual Basic as the language and click Windows to narrow down the selection and only display templates that target Windows client applications. I'll select the new DX WPF application version 10.2 template and click OK. The project settings window is displayed. Here I can select and customize the common UI controls that I want to be included in my WPF project. First, I can select if I want to use the DX window control instead of the standard window control. DX window provides better integration with other DevExpress UI controls such as the ribbon control. Furthermore, the DX window also supports themes applied to all other DevExpress controls in the application. I also want to have theming enabled in my application, so I'll make sure this item is checked as well. I can select from one of the four predefined themes. Keep in mind that this in no way limits you to the themes you use. You can add more themes and apply them at design time. I click on DX bars and from the three settings provided, select the one to include a menu, several sample toolbars, as well as a status bar. The DX layout item, as the name implies, allows me to set the basic layout of the application. Four common choices are available. However, I'll select the layout similar to the one used in the Visual Studio IDE. I also want to add a grid to my application. So I check the DX grid item and select the basic table layout for the grid view. For a nav bar, I'll select the navigation pane view and enable the DX nav bar component. Finally, I can also include a chart control in my application. I enable DX charts. Using the series view combo box, I can specify the chart type. For this sample, I'll use a 3D Manhattan bar. You can see that the chart can be rotated and is fully interactive within the project settings window. I can choose to show data labels or a legend. The color palette can be changed as well. Now that I'm done with my application customization, let's take a look at the resources available at the bottom of the window. At any time, I can click the DevExpress logo to get to the DevExpress homepage. I can also get support, watch training videos like this one online, download more DevExpress products, or if I'm satisfied evaluating the products, make a purchase online. I click the Create Project button. The project files are created automatically and all required references are added. And here is the end result. You can see in design time that all the specified components have been automatically created for me. This not only gives me a good starting point, but also helps me learn how to use the different controls if it's my first time developing using DevExpress products. Now let's run the application to see it in action. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.